this one is tea, y'all. Ain't no problem, I don't got nobody just with you right now For the truth, I look better under you, I can't know What's up, JB Gang? It's your girl, Jada, and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, hey, what's up? If you're returning, what's up, JB Gang? So this is going to be a sit-down video. It's going to be... I got to straw y'all because I got a little gloss on. But this video is going to be, what's tea about me? Okay? Because what's tea about me? What's tea? What's tea? Let me step on this tea, y'all. I asked y'all to ask me on Instagram some questions. Instagram handle be right here. I asked y'all to ask me some questions and stuff like that. So, first question is, why are you so fine, lol? I don't know. God just made me like that. On to the next. Um, he said, you got a man now. No, I'm single. I'm single, baby. I'm single. And y'all, my questions be... I have questions like this on my Instagram because men be responding. Sometimes the girls respond, but most guys respond to my to my questions. So that's why some of these questions are like these because these are mostly men. One person asked me, how's the YouTube life going? The YouTube life is going really good. Um, I love being on YouTube. Like, I love showing y'all a side of me that sometimes people don't get to see for real. And like, this is genuinely authentic me all everything i post is genuine how i'm feeling is genuine i will never get on camera when i don't feel good just to put a video out like every video i i make it's like i'm feeling good there are genuine vibes there man how are you staying motivated with it i just stay motivated y'all because like this is something i like to do like i like to record i like to express myself i like to make videos for you guys i like to explore a lot so instead of me just exploring alone I like to take you guys with me and on top of that what keeps me motivated is like I record y'all and then I look back at those videos. I have I love having memories to look back at and smile over. You know what to smile at. So I love having memories. That's what keeps me motivated on YouTube. And it's just something I like to do. Like I'm very outgoing. I like to do I like to record. I like to remember stuff. I like to have memorable moments to look back at. So that's what keeps me motivated. What's my type? Starting off, I like a guy that's like six one or like Pushing 512. But I like a man that's skinny and dark skin. I like a man that has goals and, you know, want to do stuff with, you know, want to do something with life. And he's not comfortable where he's at. He's very ambitious. He has goals that he want to reach. And he just keep rising up the chain. Keep rising and rising and rising. He never gets comfortable where he's at. He just keeps going higher and higher and higher. And I don't want a guy with any kids. Um, I want a guy with well, my type. I want to. A guy that's gonna marry me too. I don't want to just be boyfriend girlfriend for a long time. I believe in marriage. My parents are still married. They were married since they were 21, and they're still married. So definitely want a guy that believes in marriage, and definitely that believes in God. Like you know, that believes in God and prays. Like I definitely need that. What motivates me? It's just a lot motivates me. It's just I gotta do this shit. For real. Like I gotta, I gotta be somebody. Okay. It's the, Keep pushing, going with life, knowing there's a tomorrow and that tomorrow is always better than today. That's what motivates me. Like, I know I could become higher than where I'm at. Like, just thinking where I could be in the future, it just motivates me to keep pushing strong, pushing hard. May probably go intact with the same question. What motivates me? They said, what is the most thing you wanted in life? So I never forget y'all in little Tallahassee. I think I was a freshman or a sophomore. I was like, y'all... I want to start a business. I want to start YouTube. I want to do this. I want to do that. Yada yada. Rah 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 this. Rah 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 that. And y'all, I was like, I want to do this. I want to do that, y'all. And when I was a freshman in college, and I never did it, so just looking back to see, like, all star wrote on my vision board. I'm gonna tell the Hassie that I'm doing now. This is like a step what I want towards my life. But I want a lot of stuff in life. I'm not gonna go deep in detail. But I want a lot of stuff. Like, I want a lot of stuff for my life. I want my life. Another question, can we go on a date? Um, I'm not going to answer that on this YouTube video. So this is YouTube. This is, you know, what's tea about me? What's tea about me? So, I'm going to let you know about that person. Another question, do you have friends? Um, yes, I do have friends. But I became older, you guys. Like, I become very picky with my friends if that makes sense because it's just 
I have friend trauma, y'all, okay? I have friend trauma. It's just like, I don't want to tell this person everything about me and my deepest, darkest secrets for us to fall out and not be friends. Like, I just don't want to put myself through something like that again. So, I'm very picky with friends, relationship, anything. Like, I'm very picky. Another question is, why do you travel alone? So, y'all, I travel alone because, like, again, it's going to go intact with friends. It's like, y'all, when I want to travel with my friends... They were some were down for it, some were not, or some was saying we can do it this day, do it this day, do it that day, do it this day. And y'all, it never happened. Like, it never happened. So I feel like the benefit of me traveling alone is like, if I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm not going to say, you know, I, I'll put it off next week or uh, when I get paid this week. Like, you know what I'm saying? Life happens, but it was just too much of. Uh, I'm going to do it. We're going to go. We're going to go. And then it never happened. Like, it just never happened. That just aggravated me to the point where I said, you know, F it. I'm going to start going places alone. If I want to do it, I'm going to do it alone. And then I travel alone again because I know I'm the most genuine person in my life. I know I'm the most protective person over myself in my life. And I'd rather have that when I'm traveling because I don't have time for people to throw fits or get mad or become any you know just people get out of character or i want to go to this place they want to go to this place they don't want to go to this place they're gonna have an attitude like i just don't have time for that so i feel like with me traveling alone i have the most genuine vibe ever i'm gonna be the most protective over me and i'm gonna make sure i get home safe you know i'm not gonna leave my friends for a guy or you know i'm not gonna do that so that's the reason i travel alone I'm skipping some questions, y'all, because some questions are the same questions in tech with the others, so let's see. Another question, what have you learned at the age of 21? Y'all, let me sip my tea, because what's tea? What's tea? I love sweet tea, y'all. I'm country. I learned that friends are going to come and go. Relationships are going to come and go. It's okay to be picky. It's okay to say no. That's why I learned at the age of 21 because, like, with my past friendships, certain situations would happen. And me being me, to avoid conflict, I wouldn't confront it or I would confront it. And then every time I confront it, there was, you know, emotions are hot or friends don't talk to me for a week or go ghost. And, like, I just, I learned at this age, like, communication is key. If you're not willing to communicate with me or, you know, establish anything about our friendship relationship, you got to go. Because, I mean, I'm 21, y'all, but I learned a lot at this age because when I was younger, sometimes I have friends, I wouldn't communicate with them. I'm upset. I don't talk to them either. <laughs> I don't talk to them either. Like, it's just an elephant in the room. Something is wrong in the friendship or the relationship, you need to speak up. Don't let the elephant get in the room because once the elephant get in the room, talking to your friend or your significant partner, it's going to feel awkward. Like speaking from experience, y'all, is going to get awkward. And if you don't speak at all, it's going to be one elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four, until you're not going to be friends anymore. You're not going to be partners anymore. Like that's one thing I can not say. Communicate. Like don't let all the elephants get in the room to where the point y'all start acting weird towards each other. Or if y'all not even talking, like, communicate, communicate, communicate. Communication is key. So communicate to make things work, if you're going to make things work. I learned at the age of 21 is to not tolerate BS. I'm sorry. Do not tolerate BS. Like, y'all don't sit right here and tolerate BS for nobody. Don't take BS from anyone. Like, don't sit here and tolerate something. Like, if you know it's not going to get better, don't tolerate it. Just leave. Like, y'all, I am a big believer of that. Like, I'm a big believer of not tolerating anything. Like, I'm not going to tolerate how a guy treats me. Tolerate a guy giving me the bare minimum. I'm not going to tolerate a friend showing up when she wants to. I'm not going to tolerate a family member want to talk to me when it benefits them. Like, I'm not tolerating any of that. Like, I'm grown now. I'm not tolerating any of that. It's like, either you're going to be there or you're not. You'll be dibbling and dabbling in my life. You're not going to do that. I'm not tolerating any of that. So, I learned at the age of 21. I'm not tolerating no BS. Like, I'm just not doing that like if you want to be there you're going to be there ladies with relationships if he want to he will don't tolerate that honey leave do not tolerate any bs if your friend isn't there when you need her or she's not there at all 
but you're always there when she calls you don't tolerate that either communicate it out or go but there's one thing i learned tolerate stuff once people get an inch they're gonna run a mile okay they're gonna run a mile you gotta cut that off like no don't tolerate any bs from no one like you know you know certain situations calls for certain protocols but don't tolerate bs um, another thing i learned at age 21 is keep your options open like don't put all your eggs in one batch relationships friendships college all that if you're gonna take that route take it okay but hope for the best and prepare for the worst we call life it doesn't always go your way so you got you have to always hope for the best have faith for the best but you have to prepare for the worst too and i hate to say it like that but that's true like hope for the best but be prepared for the worst as well that's what i learned at age of 20 we ain't want kids personally y'all not even a lot of y'all like i really don't want kids like it right like <gasps> you don't want kids you don't want kids what 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 you don't want kids how i have a lot of siblings i have a lot of nieces and nephews and like at a young age i was exposed to raising some of them not all the way to their 18 but i was exposed to some level of raising children like i was exposed to it at a young age especially taking care of newborns when i was a child my damn self like <laughs> I was exposed to that, y'all. And it's just like, I want to have kids, don't get me wrong, but it's like, I'm afraid to have kids with this generation of men because they're normalizing being a single mother. Being a single mother should be normalized, y'all, and they're normalizing that. So I'm kind of a little fear of child. Like, I want to get, I definitely want to get married. I'm going to get married before I have a child. That's the first things first. But it's like, y'all, I don't, I really don't know someone's intentions for real with me. And like a child is a lot to bring into this world like a child is a big responsibility so it's like i want to have kids i really don't i really 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 i really don't want to have kids y'all but if i get married and my partner doesn't have any children then i'll have a child for the both of us you know bring a little mini me in this world but i really don't want kids y'all it's i don't know if it's fear or i, I don't know i really just don't want kids like Maybe when I get older, yes, but me thinking right now that I want kids, no, I don't want kids. Or maybe in the future I meet the right person. I feel like they're gonna be stable enough to take to take care of me and my child. And you know, y'all, I feel like y'all, I want to have the option of working when I'm pregnant. I want to have the option of working. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to work to make ends meet for me, and my child. I don't wanna have to do that. And like I said, this generation of men. I don't know, because they're not stepping up how a man should. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. So, my question, my answer to that question is, eh, I don't want to. But, again, my husband doesn't have a child when we be married. Then I will be willingly open to having a child with him. Because that will be our first child. How old are you? Come on now, y'all. 21, my birthday is October the 10th, 2001. I'm a 2000 baby. I'm a 2000 baby. And I'm a Libra. Your girl is a Libra. The best zodiac sign ever. Ever. What do I like to do? So, y'all, what's, what's tea about your girl? It's what I like to do, honey. When I'm bored, it dress up, look cute, take pictures. Like, <laughs> I do like doing that, y'all. Like, that just makes me happy. Like, me doing my hair just makes me happy. Like, it's just, because when I'm, I told y'all, I don't know if I told y'all that, but when I'm feeling down, doing my hair, and become a different person makes me feel so happy. So I like to get cute. I like to take pictures. I love playing volleyball. I love traveling. So those are the things I like to do. Four things I like to do. I like to travel, I like to get cute, I like to take pictures, I like to travel. I think I just said that and play volleyball. So y'all get the things I like to do. What's my major? My major is nursing, y'all. My major at college is nursing, y'all. And counselor told me back in high school, nursing, Jada, nursing is very competitive to get into. They have nearly 300 applicants and they only accept 72. They would have said that in high school, y'all. I'd be like, psh, psh, give me a different major. Not taking that. Not taking that. But y'all, I'm so far, I'm so far and deep into this major, I can't switch. But I don't want to switch. I'm just saying it's really hard to get into, like, and it's very 
overwhelming. It gets overwhelming for sure. For sure, it gets overwhelming. Do I do my own hair? Yes, as y'all know, and y'all can tell my YouTube, I do my own hair. I try to do my own. I try to do my own hair, makeup, and nails, and toes. Oh, and my own waxes. So I do all those things myself. I do, you know, I'm the press on girlies. So I'm, the, I'm, I'm the press on girlies. Okay, that's me. Love press ons. I used to get my nails done too. They just kept breaking, like y'all. They kept breaking at work, and they would split my nail down the middle, so it would hurt so bad. So press ons. Haven't did your girl like that. So I do press ons. Do my toes because I was in high school, so we did the basic, go the basic acrylic, pedicures, manicures. Um, I forgot what they called. I forgot what's called, but we did that like dip it down there. Someday we did something like that, and we did paraffin wax. We did all that. So do my own Brazilian waxes because um, I just got tired of meeting new wax technicians and showing them my kitty, and they would just they would just dive in like pull the sheet back like ah damn like wait wait a minute let me wait a minute can I prepare myself already we just ripping them ripping the, the cover up back wait you're I'm exposed slow down man hey I ain't no hey how you doing so. I got tired of that, so I was like, you know what, I'm just waxing myself. Wax my, I'm gonna wax down there myself. That's what I did. I was in that video of me waxing myself. It'll be towards the end of this video. I'll put it and y'all can watch that. So I do my waxes, I do my nails, my toes, I do my hair. Oh, I did my, I started doing my hair in high school, y'all. My parents, I don't want to pay for my hair every once in a blue moon. Like, I wave the same out four months. Braids, four to five months. Like, this is, this is ridiculous. I got new growth. I'm still having these braids in. So I was like, you know what? Instead of bothering me to pay for my hair, I'm gonna to try to learn how to do it myself. So I start off doing wigs, and I just becoming better and better at it, and I better and better at it. So I stuck with it. So I do nails, toes, Brazilian, my hair, makeup, got clubs, and these girls they used to look so pretty. I be like, hey, get your makeup down here. They be like, girl, me. I be like, what? You did your makeup, girl? She be like, yeah. I say, damn, like I really need to get a makeup. I want, I really need to get a makeup. Like sometimes. I want to be natural looking cute, but sometimes I want to do dollar up, okay? I want to dollar it up and step. I want to eat. Learn all these things, toes and press-ons. Press-on, common sense, on the box. Toes, I learned how to do that in college, college school. But everything I just outlined that I learned how to do, there are YouTube videos for these, okay? There's a lot of resources out here, y'all. Take advantage of those. Take advantage of those. They have a lot of YouTube videos of people installing wigs. Like, take advantage of these resources. There's so many resources out here through YouTube that can help you learn to do all these five things I just listed. Just take advantage of it. Another question. Best. Another club. Another club. Another club. Y'all, yeah, this is my last question. I want to end the video. The question is, how do I get brand deals? So, y'all, it's just I post on TikTok and Instagram. I just post on social media, and they just email me like that's something i do like i just post content and they email me make sure you have good content like good content is key my business email in my bio and they just email me asking about brand deals so that's how i get brand deals i just had to do anything particularly i just kept posting videos and showing the real me and then you keep showing you keep showing the real you someone's gonna love you someone's gonna hey can we get you to come for our brand so that's what happened to me if y'all like this video or your girl doing her what's tea about me like comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn that post bell notification on see notification when your girl posts because if you're not receiving notification when i post what are you doing sweetie what are you doing <laughs> but jb gang i'm gonna talk to y'all later i hope y'all enjoy this what's tea with me okay peace